Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, mentors need mentors, and so do you. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Tim Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, go, uh-huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we change. We don't do it Welcome to the game, my friends. It's good to have you here. It's go time on the Game Changer Podcast. If this makes a difference, share the message. That's all I ask. That's all I ask of you. If this podcast makes a difference for you, share this with someone. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and like below. All right, let's talk about this. So this one is really kind of for the entrepreneurs, the business owners, people who are striving to build business, striving to make more money, and striving to create some significance, some impact, some legacy. Like nothing wrong with having a nine-to-five job. Everyone, like, we all need people who love the nine-to-five. I have people who have come kind of my team, nine-to-five. And sometimes it's like, 5 a.m. to 12 p.m., <laughs> like midnight, 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. But, you know, I was on the uh, call this week with one of my mentors, and I mentor for a living. I coach people for a living. But it's crazy. I'm like, man, I, I need some help. So I reached out to two of my mentors, brothers, guys who are in my space, and I just said, hey, I need some eyes on what I'm doing. I need some help. And they're like, yeah, no problem, man. They're like, we do the same thing. We always... We'll reach out to you. We'll re- we'll reach out to another coach. So I sat for two hours, I, an hour with one, an hour with another coach. And at the time I'm shooting this, I'll be flying out to work with another one of my coaches. Again, constantly in the game of having a different set of eyes on my life, my business. You see, as you rise and as you climb, as you strive to be the best and to be great in your life, you're going to get to a point where you just cannot see. There's just blind spots. Like you you cannot see what's really happening because you're so involved in the details of your life. Even with my children, I'm looking at how I show up for them at night. And sometimes I'm just not that great of a father. I'll say, and I'm like, God, I don't like how tired I get. And obviously it's the end of the day. And sometimes I'll raise my voice. So I'm like, God, that's not good. I don't like that. So I'd go and watch and listen to videos and, and books and I hired mentors and coaches. One of my coaches this week said, he said, you know, I'm going to share with you some of the notes that I took because that's what I do, right? I take notes and literally he says this to me. He says, um, you know, first of all, growth is expensive. And I thought about that and I thought, yeah, that's, of course it is. I've spent multiple six figures on coaches and mentors. If you want to go grow your body, you're going to spend money on extra food because you need extra calories and buying healthy foods is sometimes more costly. Then if you want to get some supplements, well, that's more money. Growth is expensive. Then you got to go get the gym membership. And if you're like me, you have two or three gym memberships, depending on the state that you're in. Growth is expensive, right? And that was something he said to me. And I was like, of course, because I'm looking at expanding one of my businesses. We can grow it organically and bootstrap, which we're going to do. And or if you want to 10x something, it's going to require capital. Not only human capital, but it's going to require financial capital. So that was one thing I love. Uh, I'll share something else on here and we were talking about the Apple model, and he's my, my mentor, again, I love sharing these nuggets from my coaches and mentors. He says, you know, take good old Apple. I'm like, oh, that's right. Apple says no to a lot of great things. They say no. And as I look back over the last decade of my life, check that, even like 12 to 13 years of my life, I've had to learn how to say no. Say no to more things allows me to say yes to this one or two things that matter most. Even right now, I'm you know, part of a church. I have some responsibility. It's voluntary. And there's all these emails coming for, it's a program called FSY, I think for the strength of the youth. Right? I'm one of the leaders in our church, and I got to coordinate all these emails. And I'm looking at these emails from base camp and text messages come through. This is a voluntary position. And in my mind, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Like, I have to decide on the Apple principle. I got to learn how to say no to this, 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 this. And this and this and this, even though they're really good things for now. And I might carve out some time later because I've got to say no to be able to say yes. Again, I look at you and say, first of all, are you growing? And if you're growing, you're paying some money. It's costly. It's expensive. But on the flip side, on the end of growth is rewards beyond rewards where all the investment and resources you put in, it comes back. So while it may be expensive, the yield and the return and the harvest is so much more, right? We're talking two, three five, 10X, sometimes a hundred X. Why do I pay for a gym membership? Well, it's really simple. That 20 bucks a visit when I drop in because I'm traveling, 20 bucks. Then five bucks for the protein shake, $25 to go get a workout. But 
For me, I need the energy. I need the lift. I need the the stress as well as the stress relief that I get. It's the same thing that I get in my businesses. Now let's go to the Apple concept. Where do you need to start saying no? Some of you need to say no. You think that, well, you know, these are good things. Like you, you probably ought to say no. Try say no to the next 10 things that come your way. People want to talk to you. People want to text you. People want to hang out. Just say no. If you're running a business, even if you have a marriage and children, and you say yes to other people, you're, what you're saying no to is your children. If you say yes to something, you're saying no probably to the gym. And you got to get clear, like, what's the end game here? Like, where are you trying to go? So that was a great one for me in talking with my mentor. Uh, another one from one of my mentors, he talked about, he's like, hey, Satemo, like, who's your ideal client? Who's your ideal client? What's the purpose? What's the vision? What's the core message? And he's like, is it game changer? <laughs> is it changing the game? Is it helping people to become more powerful? Again, just great questions from my mentors as I'm sitting there talking with them. Again, I'm scrolling, looking at my notes here, just like, wow, this is, this is good stuff for me. I needed the phone call. I needed to have a call with my mentors. And, you know, again, one more concept here is just like, how do I know if I'm on track? How do you know if you're on track? See, in sports, there's a scoreboard. You score touchdowns or ba baskets. Whoever's got the highest score at the end of the game for most sports, you win. The scoreboard tells us who wins. But see, in life, you start to look around and you're kind of like, ha, huh, I don't know. You start to compare yourself to other people. And if you don't have a scoreboard or a way to track and measure results and or the metrics that matter, you're going to find yourself jumping from game to game to game, never really learning how to win and dominate one game so you can tell if you won. I can tell you right now some of the metrics in my lifetime with my family, quality time with my family. I can tell you what matters to me in my life, time with my team, right? They contribute to the organization. My job is to make sure that we bring back money in return. So we go create value in the marketplace. And then again, they're growing. There's fulfillment. There's meaning. They have a chance to, to make money, to pay bills. And then of course, add some. What's important to you? What do you need to focus on? The last one, again, going back to the message is uh, I wrote down here, messaging is so important. How do I get this message to the masses and then scale? How do I get this message to penetrate and permeate the hearts of people? I ask you to take a look at well, like, what is your vision for your family? What is your vision for your life? This mentor also talked about like a midlife crisis. It was crazy. I'm 47 years old at this time I'm shooting this podcast. I've been going through some, all kinds of changes. Like I'm looking at things different. I'm feeling different. I'm looking at my parents who are like in their late 70s into their 80s. It's like, man, and it's tough. It's tough to see my parents older. So I start to look at the purpose of my life. What is the purpose of my life? And that's a whole nother conversation. But I'll tell you this, whatever you say your purpose is, you know, whatever you say that is, is what's going to determine how you behave, how you show up. And there are times in my life where I'm very, very happy, where I'm just like fulfilled, I'm cranking, I'm going. And then there's times in my life where I step back and I kind of take a 30,000 foot view and I'm like, hmm, am I on track? What matters most to me? How will I measure my life? How do I want to be remembered? Am I doing the work that I was born to do? Am I doing something that I love? Am I on track to have wealth or am I just paying bills? Am I currently doing the things that will help me to be fit and have longevity and lifestyle and sustainability? Or am I just working out with no purpose, trying to get as big and as strong as possible? My invitation to you, go find some mentors. Go, go have some real conversation with coaches and people that you trust. Again, I have a mentor that's been with me for 25 years, 25 years. Probably four times a year, I just say, hey, I need to talk. He's like, yep, call me. Get on the phone. We have some real conversations. He's been with me through some of the darkest times. Spiritual mentor. I've had I have coaches who I pay a lot of money to, and I go visit them, and they pour into me, and they kind of pull some things back from my eyes, and they get me to see some things that I couldn't see. All I'm asking you to do is just ask yourself, do I have the coaches and mentors to help me see the blind spots in my life? And if you want some help, and if my, my podcasts and my videos make a difference for you, all I ask you to do is shoot an email to info at satemangali.com. Shoot me a DM. Right? That's info, I-N-F-O at satemangali. That's my first and last name, S-E-T-E-M-A-G-A-L-I.com. And let's have a conversation with my team. We'd love to help you. We have a number of programs, communities, coaches, from marketing, selling, to purpose, to fitness. Right? We're just helping you to get really clear. I'd love to help you do that. I'd love to help you if you're open to that. And I'd love to be one of the coaches in your life. Keep inspiring, keep living, keep making a difference. And until next time, I'm out.
Let's go. Uh -huh. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down, heavy, get your pen up. Wanna be the greatest, we ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hating, we ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.